Hi, my name is Richard. Welcome to the Manufacturing Technology and Industrial Design and Engineering Machine Shop. Uh, I've tried a lot of programs at school, and I think I've just been searching around to see what I like more, and I'm a very hands-on person. For me, I wanted to learn just how to make things. The ID program is going to be more focused on the design side of things, as uh, more of like product design, um, prototyping, whereas the manufacturing classes are going to be focused on the machining side of things, programming the machines. It's more, I guess, shop-based classes. They do a nice blend of incorporating both manufacturing and industrial design. If we want to work as a machinist or we want to work as a designer, it made sense for me to pursue both sides of it, as far as learning how to run the machines and designing products for the machines to make. Here uh, I have this golden snitch that I modeled. So basically, like you learn like 3D modeling, and so I originally first learned uh, in Pasadena, but then I came down here to refine myself. Because I have a background of as a graphic designer, but I want something different, but at the same time similar. I haven't finished this one yet, but it's a it's an F1 helmet. It's helping me a lot that I get to see how, what the designs I make would actually be implemented and created here. It's a really great place to be when you understand what a machinist does, what an engineer does, and what a designer does. As you can see over here, there's a lot of tools I could mess around. There is the CNC machine in, inside of the room. This is a lathe. Yeah. Coming here is like opening a, a, a kid's toy box. And Every tool you get is a new way to make something. You find machine shops in industry that have a lot of machines, but you're never going to see this many manual machines in another program. And so much the diversity within the machines themselves. So we have so many machines to train people on so that every student could be on a machine. Learning how to operate tools and use tools correctly is going to open doors to be able to make the really high-end stuff. Because you learn the process and then you're learning some of the materials. Understand what's makeable and what's not. Uh, you can't run a CNC machine really without understanding how a manual mill works first. Once you start using these other machines, the, the ideas, the fundamentals of it come in play with that machine. That was all computer controlled, so you, you really trust your computer to do what it's supposed to do. Having the ability to say, oh, I know how to operate this, or hey, I've, I've already made cabinets, I know how to use a table saw. Prior experience is working with uh, woodworking tools and 3D printing. Prior to coming here, I kind of thought that I knew what I was doing until I got here and realized that, wow, the manufacturing world is much larger than I ever thought it was. And we also have a bunch of other machines that I have not been used yet. A really wonderful tool to be able to, you know, work with that giant uh, machine. And I, at the beginning, I was even scared to like press the buttons because it's, it's kind of scary. We're teaching people fundamental skills is what we really focus on. And then when they get into the higher end skills, they really know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not scared no more. I think the foundational skills are gonna transfer to whatever it is that you wanna go into. You don't have to have a background in mathematics or physics. Here you get to start doing what you wanna do right now. How to run a mill, blades, drill press. You start from working in the, in the wood shop, you know, and starting off doing, building a stool. Come on in here, this is our wood shop. And then moving your way from the wood shop to the, to the manual lathes, to the manual mills. I always, I just want to try everything, honestly. Like right now, I'm also taking welding classes. I'm taking, let's try to take more classes. Just because it's, it's first of all, it's cheap, but also the, the professors here are really, really good professors. Like I actually like the environment that I get here compared to when I was at a uh, four-year college. Manufacturing program mostly happens at night and afternoons and nights is set up for people who are working shifts at, at jobs. Um, and our industrial design program is mostly in the day and, the, and up into the afternoon for people who are learning and wanting to go on to a four-year school. I've been in the SolidWorks classes, 3D modeling, and I've done manual machining of the lathes and the mills, and now I'm learning how to do the CNC. These are our CNC lathes, and they're set up with tooling right now. They've been making some parts. I think the students are working on making a vise right now. You know, there's a wide gamut of things that you can do here. Whether it's you want to build cabinets or you want to go into aerospace, you know, you can do both. Like um, just bachelors and no knowledge, you can start as engineer one, making at least 
like sixty-five to seventy thousand dollars. For sure, you're gonna find a really good job, and it's gonna be well paid. I I feel like this is it. I I I'm interested in other programs just for the skill of it, but I think this is more of the career I want to take.